Hello, today we're gonna make a Flappy Bird start screen in Scratch. As you can see, this is a start screen. And when you start the game, it is a nice effect. And if you click start, everything will work very well, as you can see. And if you uh, hit a pipe, the high score will show up. So let's get started. First, go to your Flappy Bird game. Then, paint a sprite. Name the sprite Start Screen. Then, use the text tool. Make the fill a white color. And use the font for the game over sign here. Make the text uh, type Flappy Bird. As you can see. And make sure it's in the center. And make it a good size. Make sure there is an outline and it's the same as the text. Now, in the game over, select the restart button and paint another costume and duplicate that. Name the Flappy Bird text title and name the restart or the start button button and name it start. I'm yeah. Now, paint another sprite and move it to the top. In the background, go to the background sprite and copy layer 3. Oops. Select it and copy and pastel. Then layer 2, copy pastel and lastly layer one copy pastel now make it go to zero zero then select the pipes and copy pastel and put them here copy pastel put one here and lastly put one here now go to the flappy bird costume and copy pastel it put it somewhere here and and make it a good angle now name this screen now in the code when green flag clicks, hide score. Make a new variable named high score for all sprites. And in the Flappy Bird sprite, if high score, if score is higher then high score, if score is greater than high score, set, set high score, set high score to score. So now, the, if, if the score is higher than high score, then it will set high score to that, the score. Now, back in the start screen also hide high score now go to front then create a block named create create clown run without screen refresh and lastly hide then in here 
make a new variable named clone number, which is a hashtag for this sprite only. Set clone number to one, then repeat three times. Create a clone of myself and change clone number by one as you can see now when when I start as a clone you show and then make a new variable named X position for this sprite only actually make it for all sprites set X position to 300 then forever if else if if clone number equals 1 then go to go to X position and the Y would be zero. Switch costume to screen. And then go to front. And go forwards by clone number. Now we duplicate this and put it in the else. Then it'll be if clone number equals two. And in here, Oops, in here the X will be X go to X position divided by 0 0.5. Duplicate this and do 3. Oh, and also in clone 2, in clone number equals 2, make sure to switch to title. And in number three it's button and this one would be zero zero point seven and then change size by change size by and then a divide and a plus in the left so Oh, actually a minus so a hundred minus size divided by five and set brightness to zero now if touching mouse pointer then duplicate the change size change size by 150 or just set this to 150 and change brightness by 10 negative 5 and then if mouse down then broadcast reset wait until broadcast wait oops wait until not mouse down and then lastly delete this clone now up here when I receive reset oops when I receive reset stop all stop wait stop all stop other scripts in sprite hide and then delete this clone. Now in the flappy bird,
change this to instead of this it would be when when green flag clicked go to zero zero set clone to yes and delete the broadcast for for here now if you start oops oh and also make sure that there is also at the very bottom in start screen set position to position times position times zero zero point nine two now if you start as you can see this will happen and for for the clone number two clone number number two make sure to set the y to 60 and number three is negative 30 and in the in the one for the screen sprite select the background copy pastel it move it here as you can see and move it back move this one to the front and now if you start as you can see it creates a nice scroll effect now the last thing to add is for clone number two to have the the direction turning thing so point in direction then do a plus plus ninety then a times times by five then another times by a hundred fifty then then do sin of time timer now if you start as you can see oh make sure make sure this is in timer the multiply like this make sure in flappy bird also in here in the reset show score and in the game over show high score in here when you start also hide high score now if you test it it will have a nice effect and if you start everything will work properly and if you die then it will show your high score now you have a start screen in Flappy Bird. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.